Okay. Minor technical problems. Uh, I did schedule a live video, and for some reason, it just didn't go live. So hopefully, this is the only live stream that's going on today, because uh, otherwise, there's me looking like an idiot, and then there's me here uh, actually doing the live video. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, get started. How are you today? If you're online, let me know. Say hello in the comments, and let me know that you're there, or yeah, hit the, the live sorry the thumbs up and you know the hearts across the screen let me know what's going on uh, i'm using my computer today and the new camera uh, so things are a little bit different I'm working my way around it and i'm glad that you're here okay so if you're here live say hello if it's a replay for you then just simply comment replay and let me know actually before i even get started if you don't know already i'm running a free goal setting workshop uh, it's online it's absolutely free and it's going to give you some tools and strategies on how to set clear goals so uh, for 2019 and make sure that it's the absolute best year yet so i've got some really really cool training i've got some tricks and hacks and mindset stuff that i think you're going to love it's really not covered in a lot of mindset training and a lot of goal setting training they typically are the same thing that's been rehashed for the last 50 years and um, my way of doing things is a little bit different i think it's a little bit more positive and i think it's actually much more impactful on who on, on most people no matter who you are or what stage of life that you're in so once again uh, let's get stuck into this training today's title of the video is the three things that you must do if you want massive change in 2019 all right so let's get started okay i don't know if you agree with me but 2018 just seems to be the year that knocked quite a few people around okay if that resonates with you send the thumbs up and let me know uh, because for me my outsiders perspective from the insider's perspective as well as from say from a coach on one side and from uh, you know just a general guy running through life they're you know, trying to do the best he can with what he has uh, experience that there is everyone got knocked around and everyone got severely tested and to me there's uh, the test that really was was like your inner your, your flaws you're like it's kind of like 2018 said to me, I'm going to reveal to you the holes in your armor. And so what I feel is coming is a massive shift in 2019. It's a massive change. And I feel the most that people can do in this day and age, and particularly if they want to make sure that their 2019 and beyond is like, it just gets keep getting better and better, is they need to focus on inner work okay so focus on self the reason why i say that is because i feel like if you're looking for something external to make you happy if you're looking for something external to make you whole and complete if you're looking for something external to help you feel love if you're looking for something external that's going to make you uh, wealthier you know whatever it is then if you don't have the internal foundation set then what happens is, is that even if you do find some success, it'll be fleeting simply because you don't have the inner work done in order to create the foundations to go forward. Does that make sense? You, you simply can't do it. And the reason why I know this is because I've proven it to myself in my own life where I've set grandiose goals of you know, things that I want to do, you know, places I want to go, people I want to see, all that kind of stuff in over my entire lifetime and particularly when it comes to health particularly when it comes to relationships and particularly when it comes to finances if you don't have the inner work done you get pulled up so uh, there are things that happen within your psychology within your neuro pathways of the brain within your belief systems that stop you from going forward stop you from achieving the goals that you want to achieve and a lot of the time this is unconscious you have no idea that it's happening simply because it's an unconscious belief system that has been inside of you 
from a very, very young age. All right, so um, I've got heaps of training that's coming up on that. So if you want the goal setting training, I'm gonna be touching on that. And uh, I've got a new program coming out soon on uh, how to create an unshakable mindset. So if you want anything to do with that, just type in goals or mindset in the comments and I'll be happy to let you more know more about it. All right, so here's the three things that you must do if you want massive change in 2019. Okay, number one, you must stop telling yourself lies. Let me preface this with that uh, we as human beings tend to complicate things. We as human beings tend to come up with reasons why we didn't, shouldn't, could have, uh, hadn't achieved the things that we wanted to achieve in life. And we come up with certain excuses. And these are lies. And so what happens is over a period of time, once you get to, once you say these things over and over again to yourself, and then you're, your ego basically says, yeah, that's exactly why I didn't achieve it. That's exactly why I'm still single. That's exactly why I lost everything. That's exactly why I didn't start the business, uh, whatever it is. And then that lie becomes a truth to you. And you keep telling yourself that. And also you keep telling others. You keep uh, mentioning it in conversations. You keep telling people that this is the reason. And if they're like you or similar to you and they go, you know what, I'm going to support this person in that lie they just told themselves because I'm not really, I'm not really the top person that's going to call you out or pull you up on your mistakes, then they uh, just agree with you. And that reaffirms in your own mind that you've done, made the right decision and that excuse is valid. So here's some excuses, here's some lies that we tell ourselves, all right? So, you know, if I was older, if I was younger, if I was uh, more financial, if I was richer, uh, if I was not born here, if I was in another country, if I was, you know, if I had mum and dad that were like this, or if I was born into this family, those sorts of statements, um, they're the reasons why I didn't, shouldn't, couldn't have the things that I wanted in life. That's a lie that you're telling yourself. Okay, now look, full disclaimer here. This is something that I'm drawing from my personal life. So I'm not saying you're a liar. I'm not saying you tell yourself. I'm saying, you know, most of us have a tendency to kind of project these lies, all right? Project these excuses in our own life. I've done it. So if I've done it, I feel like perhaps you could have done it as well. All right, here's another one. Um, it's different for me because uh, I was born in this, this, situation. Um, my parents are divorced. It's different for me because uh, I, um, you know, just grew up in a low socioeconomic uh, area. You know, it's different for me because I had poor schooling. It's different for me because I, you know, I'm uneducated. It's different for me because uh, my parents uh, didn't speak English. They didn't know any better, you know, whatever that may be. Uh, another one might be, um, for example, I hear this a lot in business. Uh, it's different for me because my market's different. It's different in Australia. Uh, it's different in Wollongong, it's different in Sydney, it's different in this particular niche that I'm in. Um, so, you know, coming from a, an ex-sales position, I mean, I, I coach on social media marketing and sales and all that kind of stuff. So I hear this, you know. It's different for us because we've got stiffer competition. It's different for us because the real estate market is going backwards. It's different because, you know, all of those bullshit excuses, okay. So number one, stop telling yourself lies. All right, stop making excuses, stop believing your own bullshit is basically what I'm trying to say, all right? Please don't take offense to this. I'm taking my own advice as much as what I'm uh, offering it to you, all right? Here we go. Uh, number two, you must become greater than your mind. If you wanna succeed in 2019 and beyond, you must become greater than your mind. And here's what I mean. Our mind's a very, very powerful thing. It's something that uh, like just churns through you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of thoughts per day. And if we personally want to change and have massive success in 2019 and beyond, that we need to change the way we think. And we have to be greater than our mind because you've got this thing that is called like the authentic self. And then you've got this thing called the ego, right? We need both but we need the authentic self more than we need the ego. So let me explain a little bit further. 
The ego will constantly look for problems, look for excuses, look for reasons why you shouldn't, uh, look for, looks for revenge, you know, all those sorts of things. So right? there's times where ego can play a good part, obviously, because uh, it can play a part in a certain level of confidence. Uh, it can play a part in uh, that whole sort of fight or flight type of uh, scenario where you want to push through and, and motor through certain difficult situations. Sometimes that takes a bit of ego to do that. But in this case, we need to be greater than our mind because in the example of uh, you want to get fit for 2019, you want to lose 10 kilos, whatever that may be. Well, there are going to be temptations. There are going to be things that you don't uh, have, you don't eat anymore or you shouldn't eat anymore. There's going to be exercise that you need to do. There's going to be people that you need to maybe distance yourself from because they're a negative influence. And so then if you're not greater than your mind, when you want to wake up at 6 a.m. to go for a walk or go for a bike ride or go to the gym or whatever, then that thought of, I, I'm tired, you know, um, I'm just not up to it today and I may not uh, sort of make it. And then that egoic mind sort of steps in and goes, yeah, we are tired, you know. So uh, just stay in bed and you can always start tomorrow. All right. So if you were greater than your mind in that situation, uh, then you wouldn't hit snooze or you wouldn't go back to bed and you wouldn't um, not get up and go to the gym, go for a bike ride or do that exercise. You'd be greater than your mind, right? You would get up and say, you know what? Ego, mind, whatever it is you want to call it, um, like get fucked, okay? You know, just I am not going to listen to you because I need to be healthy. And these are the reasons why I need to be healthy. Uh, I need to lose weight. I need to um, get fitter. I need to live longer. I need to run around with my kids more. You know, I want to be sexier you know, to my partner. Uh, I want to be sexier to, you know, someone, you know, who I want to attract in my life or something like that. So if you're not greater than your mind, then you simply stay in bed. As an example, here's the thing. How many situations in life does that apply to? Every situation, all right? So the reality is if you are not greater than your mind, then you become a slave to your mind. You with me? All right? So if you don't have the ability to override, it's almost like, you know, a function that's happening on, the, on your computer. Uh, you know, you've got, a, you've got a position where you want to override that situation. You, wanna, you might want to say, look, I don't want to run this program right now. I want to run it later. And it gives you the option to do that. Well, your mind's no different. So if you're not greater than your mind, you become a slave to your mind. You'll always be at the whim of like whatever your mind says you should do, okay? Don't go to this place, don't get healthy, eat that chocolate, whatever it is, it might be. Don't start the business. These are the reasons why, uh, yeah, you're exactly right, you're uneducated, you didn't do any good maths at school, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then when the friend comes about or that person that is really toxic in your, your life, your relationships or your business or, you know, whatever it is, says, why don't you come out with us? We're going to be drinking or, hey, we're ordering pizza, you know, whatever it is. Or, listen, um, there's this job that comes up. You're going to hate it for the rest of your fucking life, but you should do it because the money's good, you know, that sort of thing. Or, hey, just just lower your standards because um, you know you're getting older now. So just settle for that person that um, you know is the love of your life. But even though it's not truly the one, just settle for that person because you know time's getting on and you should yeah you know, whatever. So if you're not greater than the mind, then all of a sudden you'll be in the trap. Actually, the the more important thing is is that not only will you be a slave to your mind, you'll be void of free will. Right, let that sink in. And you'll only then have no option but to succumb to the trap which is society. And society says, go to school, uh, get good grades, get a safe, secure job. Uh, it says conform, it says stay within the lines, it says, you know, be a factory worker, you know, do exactly as you're told, go to lunch at the same time, you know, wake up at the same time, go to bed at the same time, clock off at the same time. All right. So if you want to break the mold, you have to be greater than your mind. All right, that's number two. Number three, the third and final thing, if you want to uh, have a massive change in 2019. By the way, if this is resonating with you, if you want to know more about setting goals, you want to know more about mindset, just type in mindset into the comments and I'll send you a link to a free training that I'm holding uh, on the 4th of next month. So only in about uh, less than a week's time, okay? So just type in 
uh, training, type in goals or mindset, whatever it is, and I'll just respond with some information. I'll actually chuck it in the comments um, myself soon. All right, number three, the final thing. You must practice how to see yourself in a future reality. So again, following on the trend that if you are greater than your mind and if you understand and harness the power of the way the mind is and, and, and how it can be your servant and how you can be the master of it, one of the things that I've been taught from a very, very young age, and this actually comes from, from um, health and fitness, so from bodybuilding. Don't laugh at me, but in a past life, I used to be very fit and muscular. I used to do bodybuilding and things like that, and I used to go into competitions. One of the things my dear friend, um, who's passed away now, used to say to me, visualize yourself winning the competitions. And as arrogant as it may sound, people used to say, you know, how do you think you'll go in this competition? And I used to say, I think I'll win. All right? Why did I say I think I'll win? Well, because I'd been visualizing myself going through the poses, for example, training hard, getting up on stage, receiving the trophy, and then celebrating at the end to say, you know, thank you very much for receiving my trophy. I used to do this every single morning leading up to that competition. I still do it today. I see myself in the present moment receiving the things that I want in life. So whether that may be uh, a financial goal, whether that may be something that uh, is in my relationship or with my kids or with my family, or if it's a you know something around um, travel, you know. So like this year we traveled for three months overseas. You know that's something that I've been visualizing for a while. I can show you goal books with uh, pictures of Macedonia and Italy and places in Europe that I wanted to go, and I went to those places. You know, some you know, several years later, mind you, but I went. I saw it in my mind. And as Dennis Waitley says, if you can go there in the mind, you can go there in the body. So here's the thing though, right? When you see yourself in a, in a future present reality, your mind is then going to tell you it is not true. And so you need to be able to sustain a clear vision. You need to be able to think and feel what it exactly is going to be like in that moment. So the more and more you concentrate on being able to see yourself in a future present reality, this is what happens and how powerful the mind is. It now sets off you know, your reticular activating system. It now sets off your peripheral vision to search for things to validate what you just thought about. If you don't believe me, then just think about times in your life where someone might have pissed you off and you said in your own mind, uh, I am going to say this the next time that person you know, is in front of me. I'm going to do this thing the next time that that person is in front of me or whatever that may be. And your unconscious mind, I mean, as far as your, your authentic self, you knew that that was the wrong thing to do. But in that moment, because you saw exactly what was going to happen and you thought about exactly what you were going to say and you felt those emotions of how you were going to tell that person or what you were going to do, and then as soon as they came, you did that thing and then you lived to regret it, right? So you can, I can think of like tons of situations in my own personal life where my ego gets in the way, my thought process starts to imagine scenarios and different situations and things that I'm going to do, and then I act out those things, and then I think, why the hell did I do that? And it's because I saw it in my mind first, and then I went there in the body. It's almost like you put your mind on autopilot, okay? So if you can do it in a negative sense, then you can do it in a positive sense too. Does this make sense so far? All right, there is every opportunity for you to turn this boat around and to make sure that you are living now in control of your mind, in control of your thoughts, in control of your actions. So therefore, hopefully, 70, 80, 90% of the time, we can't expect you know, 100%, but 70, 80, 90% of the time, you're gonna be in a position where you are acting, you are committed to going forward and you are doing, thinking, feeling the things that are gonna project you closer to your goal. Does that make sense? All right, guys, let me wrap this up, okay? I know it's uh, getting late in the afternoon. So for those of you who have tuned in, I want to thank you so much for this. But uh, before you go, here's the three things that you must do in 2019 in order to make it absolutely massive, for massive change. 
you need to stop telling yourself lies. You need to acknowledge yourself in terms of the excuses that you make, the lies that you tell yourself. You need to make sure that you are, you've switched on your own bullshit radar. Okay, whenever you say it's because of this, it's because of that person, if only, uh, what if, you know, these things would have been different if my parents were or I'm uneducated or whatever that may be, whatever the excuse is, you need to stop telling yourself because as you know, if you tell yourself the same thing over and over again, those lies become the truth. With me? Okay. First, like an extension of that is just start asking yourself, what is it you can do right now to make you step one closer, one step closer, closer to your goals? Yeah, that, that came out right. Just wrong. Ask yourself, what can you do right now that makes you one step closer to your goals? See, it's quite a different positioning and a, and a, a simple yet profound mindset hack. If you start saying, the reason why I'm overweight is because I love food. You know, I love uh, savory food or I've got a sweet tooth or whatever it is. Well, then the moment that uh, you say that, you reaffirm in your mind is like, all right, it's okay to be fat. It's okay to be overweight. What if you just thought, you know what, um, what can I do to move one step closer to losing weight or one step closer to, gain, to getting my goal? Well, I could look up people on the internet that have got the body that I want. Uh, I could find out what they do, what they exercise, how they exercise, what they eat, um, you know, their whole daily habits. I mean, like, it is so readily available. So just check mindset hack obviously just makes a fundamental difference as to how you go about your day. And it's going to be hard. Because there are some 60, 70,000 thoughts going through your mind every single day. Now, if you think about these and you think about start monitoring your thoughts, you'll understand that a good percentage of those, something like 80, 90% of those are the same today as they were yesterday. Now you've got to ask yourself, are they actually more positive or are they more negative? And my guess is that they're more negative. So you're constantly being in a negative frame of mind and you're constantly in a battle and a tug of war with yourself. When would you like this to change? All right. If you don't become uh, greater than your mind, which is a great segue uh, into number two, you must become greater than your mind. You must understand that when your body says, I'm tired, you've got to really say to yourself, am I tired or is that just an excuse that I'm telling myself? Am I a slave to my mind or am I the master of my own mind? You with me? All right, so if that's a business, why can't I buy this house? Why can't I buy this business? Um, you know, why, what, you know I, the reason why I can't do X is because of Y, then you need to say to your, your own mind, hey, listen, uh, you're not the boss of me. I'm the boss of you, okay? I'm in control here. I'm in the driver's seat. You're not gonna get the better of me today. So if you do this, this will make a fundamental difference in your life. I guarantee things will start to change dramatically, immediately. And finally, number three, you must practice learning how to see yourself in a future present reality. So this to me is a fundamental practice of successful people. If you want massive change in 2019, you need to be able to see the way that your future is before it's actually uh, come to pass. So you need to put yourself in the same situation around the same people. You need to put yourself in the same feelings and the same state of like physiology as you were exactly achieving that particular moment in time right there and then. Even though your ego will step in and go, this is not real. All right. How many times do we live in our mind and create uh, thought processes or patterns or visions or, um, you know, make-believe things, right, that have happened in our life between, with a certain situation, a person, a place, an event, whatever it is, and we relive those moments for years and years and years living in the past. So that's proof to you that you do it already. You just don't do it in a positive frame of mind. You do it in a negative mind. It doesn't serve you at all. It actually hinders your progress. As soon as you realize this, guys, your world starts to change. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. For those of you who are joining me today, I am super happy that you are here with me. Uh, for those of you who are listening on the replay, then again, 
If you want to know more about mindset, if you want to know more about how to set goals in 2019, I'm going to be running a free training next week. So simply type in goals and I will send you the information that you need. Guys, if you want 2019 to be massive, get on this webinar. There's only 100 spots available and it's already filling really, really fast. Once again, thank you for the, your time today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have making it. Until we meet again, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.